So it was established that characteristics such as flower color, within which there can be two or three traits, two traits here are purple or white, is actually dictated by these factors. Now, we now know factors as genes. So what they did is they ran experiments manipulating purple flowers, allowing them to self-fertilize or pollinate themselves to see what will the first filial or F1 generation look like. And what they found when they crossed purple flowers with themselves is that the offspring were always were always purple. They termed this true breeding. And in the case of these plants, true breeding purple. They also took white flowers, specifically pea plants were what Mendel worked with. And they thought, okay, so if we know that purple, when self-fertilized, always leads to purple, what happens when white is self-fertilized? So we allowed for self-fertilization within the white flowers and found the same thing. They ended up being true breeding white flowers because 100% of their offspring were white. And when 100% of your offspring are the same color, that means you're true breeding. But then they decided, okay, what happens if we take the pollen from the purple flower and put it on the stigmatic surface of the white flower? What will happen if we allow for cross-fertilization between the two different colors? That was the big mystery from the last video, right? And they found that despite the fact that they know that there's a factor from the white flower being given to the offspring, hundred percent of the offspring from this cross fertilization were also purple. Now when you take a true breeding purple and a true breeding white and you cross them, you actually create what are known as hybrids. Any true breeding crossed with the opposite true breeding within a particular